Hey guys, it's Alex here. Um, doing another video. I'm going to go more in depth into my GeekyCon experience. Um, I'm going to talk about favorite panels, meetups, uh, celebrities, um, and uh, some of my haul. I don't really have much of a haul. Um, and about my cosplay ideas for next year. Um, so here we go. All right, starting off with the co uh, completely lost my train of thought. Um, I'm going to start off with the panels and meetups that I loved going to this year. Um, first off, my favorite panel, hands down, is always the LGBTQ meetup. Um, it is an amazing meetup. You meet amazing people. You hear amazing stories. Um, and these are people that you can trust. They, they know or can relate to a lot of the struggles that you've been through. And, and it's, it, you know, it's people who, who will just be there for you. No matter what, um, you know, it's somebody who you can bring up your stories with and and cherish the way they treat you. Um, it's, it's always a great, great place um, to meet new friends and basically new family. Um, it's one of my favorite meetups. Um, and you don't have to be on the LGBTQIA plus rainbow, I don't know what you came with rainbow, but um, alphabet soup. Uh, spectrum. You don't have to be on that at all. You can be 100% heterosexual and an ally, and you're welcome to go. And we appreciate our allies. Um, and uh, so that's one of my favorite meetups to go to. Um, n then um, I always love going to. Um, I go to random stuff every year. Um, this year I went to the Fandom Inc. meetup. Um, and I went to the Once Upon a Time meetup, which was run by my friend Molly. She did a really, really good job. Um, and I think that, um, stuff, stuff that's fan run is amazing. Um, I know my friend Lexi just, uh, did a panel of, what was it called? It was... Oh my god. I'm completely bank blanking on what her panel was called. Um, but it was something about um, not letting the fandoms die. Oh my god. She's going to hate me for completely forgetting this. Um, but, I mean, they're amazing. Um, I got to sit in on the um, Super Hulak panel this year, um, which was a lot of fun. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um... It was one of my favorite things to do. This poor girl who was dressed as Rapunzel um, tried so hard to get a Doctor Who sticker, and at the, the questions were just ridiculously hard to answer. Um, and the last question was, like, basically, if she didn't get the answer, I was going to give the sticker to her anyways, because she worked so hard, so, so hard to get these answers, and I was like, oh, man, she's really, she deserves it, you know? Um... And I always love going to the, the sing-alongs. Um, and I love going to um, official stuff. Last year, the Part of Public Pals Live was amazing. Um, I didn't get a chance to go to the Supernatural um, panel. Okay, so I, there were apparently two Supernatural panels this year. And one had Kim Rhodes attend. Oh, I just flipped the internet off. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Um, one had Kim Rhodes in it. And another one was being run by Mark Oshiro. And apparently, the next day, Mark Mark sees me and is like, Why the heck didn't you come to my panel? And I was like, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mark knows who I am? What the heck is happening here? And secondly, he noticed I wasn't at his panel. I didn't even know he was having a panel. So, that was crazy. But I, I guess the second panel wasn't even listed on the uh, schedule, either one. Which kind of sucks. Um, but... So, um, I love going to, like, official stuff. Um, last year they had the woman who plays Abaddon, um, at a Supernatural panel. <laughs> it's amazing! Um, you know, the Star Kid, the Star Kid panels, uh, or the Star Kid set, sing-along, always something I love going to. Um, it was amazing this year. I, I, um suggested the name Flapjack for um, Lost Without You and Jamie took my suggestion and then pointed at me in the middle of the song and I was just like, ow, oh, my heart they still, oh, how do I how do I stop from fanboying all over the place? Um, but 
it was great for me, you know? Um, I just I just had so much fun. Um, oh, oh God, I love Geekon so much, you guys. I can't even. I can't even. Um, but so now, um, I guess I'll talk about um, some celebrities that I was really happy to meet. Um, John Cozart, I've seen every year. Um, and um, he knows me by name now. Um, I was in his... Um, photo booth, and I, I can't believe I forgot when was, I was in the photo booth when the pictures came out, and I was like, oh, I'm not in that one. And then someone tags me, and I was like, oh! <laughs> I completely forgot I was in that. Um, but, so, uh, I remember because uh, right before we took the picture, he's like, oh, you're Alex, right? And I was like, you know my name? He, <laughs> he, what? I'm always surprised when... Celebrities know who I am, um, and like um, Dominic and Kurt and Titus know who I am, and Jackie knows who I am, and I'm every time I'm like, "Are you sure you think you know who you're talking to right now?" Um, Anthony Rapp was amazing every second. Um, I remember <laughs> this is the funniest thing. Um, I had a, a, a Tin Can Bros sticker on my forehead, because <laughs> someone Tin Can ninja me in the face. Um, I knew who they, who they were and what they were doing at the time, but it was still kind of funny, um, to have happen, and I was, I was walking by, um, is Melissa and Nelly, Anthony Rapp, and two other people were talking, and I walked by and I was like, oh, hey, Anthony, and I just kept walking, and Anthony Rapp kind of like grabs my arm and pulls me into the conversation. And then Melissa Anelli is like, what the hell is on your face? And I'm just like, oh my God. Okay. Um, and then um, my last night in town, it was Sunday night. Um, I was at Walgreens with Lexi. And we were buying some food for me for my uh, plane ride home. And Anthony Rapp, Rapp is, okay, this is so funny. Anthony Rapp comes up behind Lexi and goes, hey guys! And Lexi just like jumps and just like, ah! She didn't know what hap was happening. And Anthony Rapp, me and Lexi, were just having like a nice little conversation. And then he leaves, right? And then comes back like 30 seconds later and says, okay, I forgot I needed chips. And we're just like, <laughs> like, like, of course you would get so invested in a conversation with someone, forget what you were even doing, and then come back to get what you were trying to get. Um, but yeah, Anthony Rapp's amazing. Um, and, and Jackie and Dominic and Titus, oh my god, I love them so much. Every year I'm so happy to see them. Um, and then meeting Kim Rhodes was amazing. Um, I told her this story about how when I was in seventh grade, um, I really, really wanted to get my hair cut like Carrie from Zack and Cody, and it was it was kind of similar to the way my hair is now, except it was like all super spiky. There was nothing like coming out on the side right here, and I wasn't shaved over here, but um, I literally took a picture of Kim Rhodes in to a salon and said, make me look like her, and I told her this story, and she just busted out laughing, and I was just like, yay, I made Kim Rhodes laugh, yay, life is wonderful, um, and then, oh my god, Hollywood show was amazing, I didn't really get to talk to H Hilly and Hannah, but, oh my god, I was so happy to see them, I did tell them, because I, I told this to John Cozart too, that I was like, oh yeah, I sing, um, the 99 seconds Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter in the shower, when I'm washing my hair so I know how long I've been washing my hair for, you know? And I told um, Hilly and Hannah I also sing their Harry Potter Friday parody too. Because I'm like, oh yeah, it's not that long and you know, I know it by heart and it's just something to do while you're in the shower to take the monotony out of it. And they just bust out laughing and I'm like, I'm glad I can make people laugh. This makes me feel good. Maybe I should quit my day job, become a comedian. Um, <laughs> but it was, it's great. Um, I got um, people to sign my tie, so like I've got, you can always see Tessa's right there, but like there's all kinds of signatures on the tie, 
go all the way down. Woo! I think that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one up there. But like the whole thing is just covered in signatures. Um, and I, <laughs> they thought it was so original to get the tie signed, and I was like, yeah, this tie is getting retired. It it uh fell on the ground and got run over by the moving walkway. So the tie is getting retired, and I figured what better way to retire it than um, have it signed by some of my favorite people and, you know, have it retired forever and in a special way. Um, and then Thomas, Thomas Sanders is a special angel from above. Um, he's so freaking precious. I love him so much. He wanted to, he wanted to like, have like a straight up converse, five minute conversation when we were waiting to do the photo booth and I was like, Thomas, no, shut up, there's people waiting in line. And <laughs> it was so funny. Um, and then I was really happy this year. Um, I have a shirt that says, hold up, I gotta set you down. Here, there we go, we fixed it. So it's a shirt that says, keep calm, I'm a Starship Ranger. And I had it signed by the uh, Star Kids from last year, but there were a lot of people that came, um, that didn't come last year that came this year and I was like well I have to go again and I have to bring the shirt back and so I got like uh, Joey's and Lauren's and Jamie's signatures but I already had like Dylan Saunders and Brian Holden's so it's really funny because I have I have a Brian Holden signature like right here and then he's like you know what I'm just gonna sign right above my other signature so it says Brian Holden right above it where it says Brian Holden and I'm just like okay yay but I've got um, a ton of signatures on this which makes me so happy so now there's only about a, a handful of um, star kids that I don't have their signatures from um, so yeah um, and then I was in one of Maxwell Glick's videos, and I was so happy. Um, I love Maxwell Glick and Mary Kay Wiles um, and Bernie Sue. Oh my God, I love um, the Lizzie Bandit Diaries, and then I, I love the work that they've been doing outside of it. And it's they're amazing people. Um, uh, so I'm gonna move on to the cosplay real quick. Um, try and see if I can cut this video a little shorter. Um, next year, I plan on doing. Um, Four different cosplays. I'm gonna do a Prince Eric cosplay from The Little Mermaid. I plan on doing Hook from Once Upon a Time. Um, the Dark One from Once Upon a Time when uh, he's in the castle, when uh, he and Belle are starting to first fall in love with each other in, in the Enchanted Forest. Um, so I wanna focus on that kind of outfit, um, which isn't so dark, it's actually kinda colorful and it pops a little more. Um, and I'd like to do a charming cosplay. I wanted to, I thought about doing like an evil charming, like how there was that episode where the roles got reversed, um, in the storybook, and I'd really like to do that, but I couldn't find any references photos wise. Um, I might have to go back through the episode and just take photos myself, like screenshots. Um, but, um, I might not do that since somebody wants to do a massive supernatural um, group cosplay and I might instead um, do my Dean and work a little more on my Dean cosplay um, but that's what I'm doing for next year um, I, that's about it uh, I gotta try and cut this video a little short so it doesn't uh, go past its limit on my phone um, that's all for now um, this video idea was recommended by my friend Kate or Katie I tried to uh, get how to pronounce her name but it didn't get it in time for the filming um, thank you so much um, I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope I see you guys at um, GeekyCon next year and you guys have an awesome day peace out